are back. Alrighty then. So, thus, I have promised Maxor. Asmogol doesn't have Dingus Squad to help extend VODs. No, 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 he does not. Um, also, that's kind of like one of those like those weird like streamer fears that I have is being like too large to not be able to keep track of chat anymore. Because that's one of those things that I'm just like, I want to like thank everyone for just coming out. I definitely appreciate every single one of you for coming out. Um, I really do. It definitely means a lot. I've been streaming for a while, and this has been absolutely just the best fucking time of my life, really. Um, but yeah, no, we have, we're going to go into the Elden Ring one, because this was recommended to me. As someone who, according, and I don't know what metrics they're using, according to Twitch's, like, rewind, right? Twitch's rewind. I was in, like, the top 11% of, like, Elden Ring streamers. And I'm like, there's no fucking way. There's actually no fucking way. Like, like let me see if I can find it really quick, because I actually sent a screenshot of it to somebody. Was it? I think it was Yutaka. Hold up. Open original. There we go. Yeah, so Kaiju Kip, right? And I, I don't have the full one because I have to actually go back and figure it out. You loved Elden Ring so much. You are in the top 11% of all its streamers. That's a pretty exclusive crew. So, Twitch-sama said it themselves. Kip is top 11% of Elden Ring streamers for some fucking reason. Elden Ring content definitely coming soon. I definitely need to go do another run through that. Probably big brain magic build. But... Speaking of Elden Ring, we have Maxor today gracing us with El an incorrect summary of Elden Ring, the moon and the stars. Uh, time to stream Snipe Kip. Oh, it's going to happen. You know what? You know, I, I invite it, though. If you can do with, like, the, the like what, 7 to 10 second delay and still stream Snipe me, you kind of earn it. <laughs> also, if you're watching the stream, you do earn it. <laughs> watching someone else earlier, and he was in the top 9% of just chatting. It was wild. I don't get it. I don't know what metrics they're using. I don't know if they inflate the metrics. I don't know if I, I don't know what they do. But if this is true, I'll take being top 11%. Um, yeah, all right. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Let's uh, see what Maxor has in store for us today. Maxor always does well on this channel. And uh, I absolutely love Maxor. Absolutely just legend himself. Guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Elden Ring, or as I like to call it, Boomer Band, is a fun new <laughs> Boomer Band the fuck? New hack and slash and bash and crash my car. Developed by Epic Games director Hydro Tacos Miyazaki with uh -huh. the express purpose of inflicting pain upon the Gaijin. Man just got fucking sniped by Radon. Holy fuck. And this man is getting destroyed by Melania. He clearly has not let me solo her. In this adventure, you play as the famous video games protagonist Elden what? John as he undergoes many trials and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire Catholic Church and kill God. Oh my god, why does it make sense though? What? It makes so much sense though now. Like... Maxer, why are you not wrong? This game is uh, of little difficulty. You could call it the Dark Souls of Skyrim. As such, many oh, challenges so await the player, and most of it is the work of Satan, as yeah. is every game made by the Japanese, spanning a gigantic world slightly... Hold up, hold up. Let, let's think about that for a second. The work of every Japanese game is the work of Satan. Pokemon? Okay, I'll give you that. Dragon Quest? Give you that. Final Fantasy? Give you that. Uh, Zelda. Give you that. I th I think I think he's accurate though, right? I think his fucking hands are the final evolution of the Masters and Zelda. No, those hands are fucking spooky. Yeah, they are. Be larger than Africa. We will find many secrets. Uncover many attractions. Did that just say London bin knife? What the fuck? and slay the entire cast of the Bible. I've always liked that book. My favorite part was the genocide. The, like the Bible is really fucked up. If you like, not that I've read it personally. Like I've heard excerpts of it. I'm like, this is fucked up, bro. The small hands scared me more. The yeah, no, they definitely hit the. I could see how they could hit arachnophobia territory. I love it. Dog doing. I am curious what Maxor is going to say about the difficulty spike between, say, like Fire Giant and Faramazula. I will stand by my design philosophy that there are actually like three games in Elden Ring. There is the difficulty that's base game to like Margit the Fell Omen, right? And then you like, you know, have to go to the Northern Waste. Northern Waste through Fire Giant. And then you're going to go through Fire Giant to, from Faramazula to Endgame. There are three different games in Elden Ring, is how I'm going to word that. Hello, Moonstar. Come to you. <laughs> <Come through fire. laughs> 
So we boot up the game and, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, silly me. I forgot to unplug the keyboard so my controller can work. Now I'm free to make my... Character. Our journey begins Legend. inside of the Microsoft Some PowerPoint. Sort of the quality... The loathsome dung eater! Oh my god. The... <laughs> the wicked poo-poo blunder! If you haven't seen that video, please go see it. It's just like... Like, how you can say the loathsome dung eater and like just different ways it's beautiful the of which being so dubious that it resurrects you from the dead wake the fuck up samurai of course yeah. this is a from soft game so spider-man is here to send us the fuck back yeah he to is our tutorial which is a whole a whole lot of fun you know i'm so happy at one game of the year too like that's this is so good i'm so happy for elden ring just making friends influencing people and providing intuitive solutions to the issue of life <laughs> and with that problem sorted it's time to take the elevator so we can accomplish the impossible and go outside Touch grass. Welcome everyone to Limgrave, land of trees, laborious bears upon the trees, and this white person. Honest, if you're lost, how about you start by finding some bitches? Stupid weeaboo wearing ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass? With your weird ass cargo shorts your mama gave you? Look, what I'm trying to say is, your fit is mid, and you get zero bitches. Fuck out of my sight before I gotta look at those stank ass vans again. As per the words of our friend. I hear Xenoblade is really good. I haven't played it personally, but like. I, I, I could see it. I, I could see why you're upset. Friendly associate, we proceed towards the castle in search of some bitches. In yeah. Dark Souls, we sought after the Dark Soul. And in Bloodborne, we... Oh my god. No. No. Maxor, you did not just make this. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Maxor, you fucking legend. Oh my god. I can now not... I can now not associate... Oh, I guess that is there. Well then, <laughs> Max, I cannot associate blood. I, I cannot delink me, 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 and uh, Bloodborne. I, they're they're now synonymous to me. Like I hope you know that. And if Bloodborne does come to PC, me, me, me mod when? When can I play the me, me, me character? When? When? Like. All I'm saying. All I'm saying. We tried to escape Britain, but for Elden Ring, oh our God, objective yes. is to get the hose. This is a game mechanic. You cannot level up until you get a girl boss. So with nothing else to do, I What does he mean by get the hose? I'm definitely missing something here. Wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, I promise that was... Th no. I would thought he meant like an actual like garden hose. No. That's not... <laughs> Nothing kept braid tonight. No, sir. No, sir. Nothing Nothing between these. <laughs> nope. That did not just happen. I, nope. Nope. Definitely. Nope. That's not a clip. That is definitely not a clip. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you just know I thought he meant a garden hose. And I'm just like, wow, we're going like Brassius from fucking Sword and Shield. Uh, from, not Sword and Shield. Strahd Violent, aren't we? No, he meant actual. Okay. Now I know what's happening now. I guess we'll have to fight this tutorial bar. Neat. Yeah, no, fuck your sentinel. I, uh, he's a, he's a little like, uh, yeah. this tutorial is on how to flee in fear and, uh, yeah. use geometry. <laughs> Proceeding to the next batch of enemies, we must forsake direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist Rigid Danger Mighty Jungle Noodle, at which- So, I tried stealth tactics in this exact camp, and I actually leveled up to, like, 20 or something like that, like, 21, and then I'm just like, stealth is an option now. <laughs> Tree Sentinel got nerfed, by the way. Health pool nerfed. Oh my god, that makes it so much... <sighs> like, I get why, like, because it was, like, Vadi and someone else. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Iron Pineapple. During, like, the beta test, they were saying how, like, Tree Sentinel is an amazing, like, early game boss because it'll test you. I'm glad they nerfed his health bar, though, because fuck that guy. <laughs> Sleep arrows makes stuff easy. You assume that I Kip is actually smart enough to use said things. I normally just go in an Oonga Boonga. <laughs> point, they form a violence committee. Yeah, no bitches. Hmm. Try finger. Here's but butthole. What's up, bitch? What the f Oh my god. So, it's so funny because, like, where it wasn't the Japanese player base, because it trans translates it, right? They're like, why is everyone talking about fingers, holes, and, like, dogs? Like, what's happening here? <laughs> and you're just like, you're just like, 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 try finger but hole, right? And then you're just like, uh, like, dog ahead, and it's a fucking crab or a lobster. And you're just like, and they're just like, what is happening? <laughs> F 
fuck? My name is Melatonin. And if oh I my may god. Inquire, sir, I am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual style so that I may make what? him goated with the sauce. Okay. No cap. All we have to do now is kill every demigod. You're saying words to me. Every what? I'm glad you asked. Long ago, this land was ruled by the. I'm gonna take. I need a second. Why is it always Ohio? Why is it always Ohio? I can't escape. Jeez, what is happening? What the fuck? I can't. I I can't. Like I'm not. I'm picking these at random. I'm not. I'm not looking through this beforehand. Be like, ah, yes, there's an Ohio meme in this. I can't. <laughs> Just Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We don't have RuneScaper only fans in this video yet. Yet is the keyword. I'm hoping we don't because then we have just the holy fucking Deathly Hallows of fucking Kaiju Kip. Great Queen Marinara who pissed off Queen God so badly that he left the oh, yeah. fucking uh -huh. universe. Now uh -huh. her power, the Amazon gift card, is uh -huh. shattered and her yeah. athletic scions are holding a contest to see who can die the least. So God comes back when I kill them. No, but... I'm pretty sure Ohio has just transcended at this point. Like, it's entered the fucking human unconsciousness. Oh my god. The Holy Trinity. Absolutely. You get to keep the gift card. Uh, These are the faces of evil who have all claimed the shard of the card. Some seek glory, others redemption, and one is just really attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? And after the fuck? countless weekends at university, the tarnished warriors are called upon to rise from their tilted towers and achieve one final victory royale. And that's when we got the Coliseum update, which I still have to play, and I'm gonna get my ass fucking destroyed. Oh my god. Jake Paul, bastard of the Badlands, <laughs> the ever wet skelly sleeper, the what? crazy car car consumer. Oh my god, he had to have seen the video. I'm 90% sure it was in the video. Like, oh my god, oh my god, chat, you have. N I need to find it now. I need to find it. I'm sorry. This is actually fucking relevant to the stream. This is actually relevant. Uh. Uh, I have to find. I, I this is relevant. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. The when you are the loathsome dung eater. Like I, I was explaining this earlier. I, I, this, Arise, ye tarnished. I can't. Dead, who yet live? The loathsome dung eater, the berserk booty bomb <laughs> banqueter, <laughs> the crazed. Aka consumer, there it is. the dastardly yep. doo doo <laughs> devourer, the evil excrement <laughs> enjoyer, <Yeah>. the freaky <laughs> fecal beast, <laughs> the garish guano goblin, the hellish hot sloppy horror, <laughs> <laughs> infamous icky slicky ingestion, the manure muncher <laughs> nefarious. Number two, Nibla. Uh-huh. The pesky poo-poo-plunder. Poo-poo-plunder. Oh, my God. The sickly shit snack. Okay. The tricky turd taster. Yep. The worrisome <laughs> waste. <laughs> Wampa. Sir Gideon Offley. The all. No, the repugnant rectum <laughs> robber, the lecherous, low-down luncher, oh and one, one other, yep. whom grace uh -huh. would again bless, the horrible poo slapper. No! <laughs> Oh my god. See, that video exists. You're welcome knowing that exists now. Now, please, like, go support that content creator because that is absolutely beautiful. Like, I, I've i definitely sent that to people and just, like, like, look, if you have a skill set that might be niche, but you can make memes off of it, that's where you go. If someone's like, why do I need to learn language and words? Just send them that, right? Just send, like... Increase your vocabulary in your dictionary so you can make shit like that. So there we go, the crazy caca consumer. I'm 99% sure Maxor has seen that video. 
Oh my god. Okay, so hear me out. We have a shit, uh, like an actual like shit tournament for uh, the, the server with roles like that that are up for grabs for the winner. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Unironically, we we can have a we can have a a, a, a poo poo tournament in Elden Ring. We'll, we'll 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 market it as an event. We'll have the 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 poo poo tournament. Anyone who fucking wins has a right to claim one of the names. <laughs> oh my god. I hate that this might be a thing now. Holy shit. At least of all, thing. you tarnished warrior. Is there like an opt out? Great, I'll send you to my dimensional pocket. I see. That's you. the one. Neat. Cool. <laughs> Welcome to the Round Table Hold, a place to rest, make purchases, and converse with the homeless. Yeah. Do you sell magic? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here now. Oh. Oh my I'm god, hell. yes. Now, as I'm for in hell. comprehensible friends, we could begin with the blacksmith, but uh, he's a little busy right now. So that only leaves one so more person, damn. Fia, the deathbed companion. Oh my god. We find you find out real quick who just who just wants the uh <laughs> who just wants love and affection. <laughs> and then they get fucked over for the rest of the game. <laughs> Oh my god! Unique among all women, including my mother. Wait, I'm sorry. I know, I know. Ame did not just fucking photobomb this this stream. One more person, Fia, the deathbed companion. Unique among all. There she is. <laughs> there she is. Hi, Ame. How you doing? <laughs> Didn't happen to see you there! Women, including my mother, for offering to hug me. Of course, I do accept for gameplay reasons, but what uh -huh, I wasn't aware reasons. of was that this one action permanently debuffed my health, and I- Yeah, I fucking did. I forgot to turn it off. For the entire game. I've done this. I had someone comment on a fucking- when I did a, a video, I did a, a short video, where I was using the double uh, Godskin Peeler. Godskin Peeler literally fucking OP with Seppuku. And I was just like ex like showing off like how it just like destroys Ruin Bear. Like just random Ruin Bear, right? And so I was just like, bro, you still have the fucking thing on you. You're gonna, this is how you get rid of it. And I'm like, oh right, I forgot how to, I forgot I was supposed to do that. Thanks for reminding me that's on my debuff bar. The effect looks like this. And with that, I've reached my limit for human interaction. So it's time to head back. I figured it out because I'm a souls nerd and was trying to figure out why I had health down. Yeah, bald should bless. There we go. That's I was I was like, I'm pretty sure it's that one. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's fucked. And then her storyline gets so creepy because it's just like like she just sleep was it she like sleeps with a dead god. It's like just like super like necrophilia trope and I'm like, what the fuck? Ah! Asthma bald blessing, that's the one. Jesus Christ to Stormvale Castle, where we can find the first demigod on our list of all people. You're our welcome. approach begins by moving through the gate. Our approach begins with a battle against the yeah. lag beast. But honestly, after that, wait, the lag beast? Did this actually lag on launch? I can't remember. I don't think it. No, it did, didn't it? It actually dropped the frame rate a little bit, especially because it's in this little uh, Stormvale, like the the little cliffside, right, with all the the effects going around. It did lag, it didn't it? Oh my god. The level is pretty easy. <laughs> Unless you're my dumbass that didn't even know Stormvale Castle existed, because I literally had already gone to Kaelid at that point. Because I'm like, look, I'm just gonna keep going this way, and I ended up at the fucking like, like what was it, the Dark Beast Church or whatever, and like the northeast, right? And I'm like, I think it was you talking. It's like, Kip, you do realize you can just go to Stormvale Castle, right? I'm like, what? That exists? He's like, Kip, did you just not go straight? I'm like, apparently not, because I'm all the way off and fuck off Kaelid at this point. I've already seen some shit. <laughs> Frame drops everywhere, yep. You know what? We don't come to me because I'm the best at these games. It's Kip, how did Kip dot 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 how did you dot 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 what what do you mean dot 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 Ah oh, forget it. That 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 encapsulates the uh the, Yeah, I no no joke. I was like all the way in fuck off Caleb before I even realized Stormvale Castle was a thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already beat like Star Scorch Beast too. Oh my god. I'm an absolute fucking monster. When Kip gets back into Elder Ring, my plan is to make him uninstall. <laughs> Don't you worry. If your talker hasn't made me do it yet, it's gonna be a hard. It's gonna be a hard climb, man. Entire career. <laughs> We're doing seamless co-op is the only question I have. All Gangster. Right. Finally, a cutscene. Foul tarnished. God damn it, sir. Babe, you're not Margit the Fell Omen. Foul tarnished. Of the hose. 
Yep. Unfortunately, I hate women. That sounds like a you problem, Chief. I am also homophobic. Rough. And you are looking pretty gay right now. Hey guys, it's me, Awful. Maxor. Welcome to the first <laughs> boss. <laughs> but he actually does feel fair, though. Like, sure, he'll hit hard, but he feels... Fair, ultimately? Unlike fucking, like, bitches in Fair Missoula. Uh, you're not even making any sense. Stop saying dumbass things. You're not even making any sense. I never make sense. That's my secret. That's my. I, I always don't make sense. Yeah, he's a little bit odd. Uh, yeah. Margaret Thatcher oh, is a very strong, very agile, and very interesting boss. Essentially, uh -huh. his purpose is telling you to fuck off and come back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented from the ass whooping. He combines yeah. delayed attacks, crazy combos, and eventually the hammer of God, just yeah. like the real Margaret Thatcher when she <laughs> hammered English oppression into the once peaceful streets of Derry. So oh my God, I'm so sorry, British people. <laughs> I'm gonna have someone being like, why are you sorry? Feel sorry that we had to deal with her. <laughs> Don't feel sorry that we're shitting on this. Like, Margaret Thatcher is one of those people that if you've heard of her, and like, like you have an opinion on her from my understanding. Uh, do the Irish gain a buffer people from fighting this boss? If there's anyone from Ireland that can answer this question, like, unironically, I would love your input. <laughs> The, like, really, the fun fact about content creation is I get to have, like, people, like, see my shit and, like, meet people from all across the world and have conversations with them. It's, like, absolute dream job territory for me. So I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the hint and leave. Fortunately yeah. for us, Young Sheldon Ring is uh -huh. a game with all kinds of activities to prepare and unwind. You know, like killing the fucking dragon, which for some reason is easier, just not too much easier. Yeah. For the next leg of our journey, the now disgraced loser baby resigns himself to uh -huh. living in the woods. That way, he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and uh, begin attack and defense debuff. <laughs> Probably. Uh, whatever that is. What? Greetings, traveler. I am. Oh no! No one tag. No one tag. Bow the whale. No one tag bow the whale in this. I don't think I've actually ever seen this cutscene. I don't think I've actually seen him spawn in here. I've not done like half the quests in the game because I just don't give a fuck about him. Like, I'm like just Oonga Boonga bosses. That's all I need. All I need. I've, I don't think I've ever seen this cutscene, actually. The only time I've seen Blade is... Oh my god. I haven't done Blade's quest line. I've literally seen him because I'm pretty sure I tried to do... I got to Stormvale Castle. No, not Stormvale Castle. No, I did Stormvale Castle first, and then I went down to Radon. Okay, yeah, that makes sense now. Blade. Like, I've never, like... <laughs> I don't fucking know... Na Clearly, I've not played the quest line. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I haven't played the quest line. <laughs> Valkyrie, yes, you know the meme. You know the meme. You absolute legend. Yeah, no, that's a whole thing with Bow the Whale. I fucking love her shit. She's an awesome VTuber. I really love that. She just enjoys what she does and uh, <laughs> has questionable bow posts and videos. And I'm pretty sure didn't the VA like even like send her a thing? And she's just like, no. Nah! I lo bow for my corner of the internet. My hat's off to you. But yeah, no, I've never done this fucking quest line. Like, the first time seeing this motherfucker, I was all the way at, like, Radon. And like, oh, cool, I can summon him. And he's like, oh, yeah, cool, do the thing. And then he's like, next time I see him is, like, in Ronnie's quest line up at Ronnie's tower. Uh, the voice actor for Blade. Read thirsty tweets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't bow on, like, Rick Sanchez now? Like, Bao is always just a, 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 a chaotic force that I just can't get enough of. Not in, like, a weird way, but, like, like <laughs> I love Bao so much. She's so cool. I'm the pit bull of the woods. Uh, Have you seen any orphanages nearby? Why are you asking me that? No reason. Legend has it that at the edge of these woods, there's a well containing the tastiest children. Okay. Go there, traveler, and I will kill the infants of your choice. I really like the fact that we have the Oblivion, like, music in the background. This makes me want to stream Oblivion. I, I've, it's been years okay yeah. this might seem bad but i know a good wait, wait what did that say of your choice uh fortnite battle pass i just shit on my ass boot up my pc because it needed me to get that fortnite battle pass i like fortnite image i like fortnite i like fortnite kiwi i feel like this is your quest <laughs> kiwi would in fact mash x to make this his active quest Okay, this might seem bad, but I know a good deal when I see one. Unfortunately, I am blind. <laughs> hey, 
Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome to fucking Space Mountain. I hope you like being Space Mountain, hell yeah. Look, if you can get me to play fucking Fortnite, you have achieved a monumental task. Because if Naruto couldn't have sold me on it, if Master Chief couldn't have sold me on it, if Star Wars couldn't have sold me on it, you had an uphill battle, that's all I'm saying. Trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers don't play around. So no, they don't. things short, this forest is watched over by the spirit of a gentle stag, and my immediate <laughs> impulse is to kill it. This yep. necessitates lighting eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove, or more accurately, sprinting between them while in- Was that fauna? That was not fauna. No, there's no way. Necessitates lighting eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove, or- Oh my god, it is fauna. I spend way too much time on Twitter. <laughs> More accurately, sprinting between them while enduring the trials of free acupuncture meets Markiplier jump scare. That is not a Speaking of Markiplier, what am I doing my fucking Smasher Pass Pokemon? I don't know yet. I think this is a question that was posed to me. I don't know if I posed it to myself or if someone posed it to me. <laughs> Markiplier did it, so therefore I have to, right? Uh, I can't believe my favorite character is now in Fortnite. Right, it's like, well, so the thing that's stopping you is like, because if you have a character... Like Markiplier, only fans. God damn it, Kiwi! You, that, that's two. We have two of the Hallows here. We have two of the Kip Deathly Hallows present in this stream. I'm watching. I'm watching. No one's gonna. No, no. We're not getting the third one. The third one that shall not be named. Uh, so by that logic, would Kip? <laughs> Look, you know what? I've threatened it for a long fucking time. You know what? This has been an ongoing discussion, and hence why it's one of the Deathly Hallows of Kaiju Camp. <laughs> I lost where I was going with this. I was going somewhere with the, the discussion. I don't even know where I went anymore. Uh, the the OnlyFans, once again, just completely just derails my train of thought. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go read philosophy in like a, like a sultry ASMR voice. That's all I need. <laughs> Sentence I thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning and a mis- I've never seen that enemy. I've never seen the sentient lightning. So after lighting the fires at the expense of my life, we yeah. devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit cave. And uh -huh. as it turns out, Bambi is back from the woods and they had a chip. Uh huh. Arguably, this deer boss is gonna be harder than fucking Margit. What are you talking about, Maxlor? I, uh, like this fight. He shows me how bad I am at the video game and yeah. uh, reenacts my trips to the horse race in 2006. Whoa. Overall, it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent- Someone in the comments is gonna be like, please, and if so, like, oh yeah, actually, there was a thing with Maxor at the horse race in 2006. And I, I love when people comment, like, little tidbits like that, or like, oh yeah, by the way, this happened in history, and I like, absolutely love the comments. Innocent forest animals, 10 out of PETA. <laughs> you don't even get anything from killing him, nope. just the guilt. Just the achievement. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave to- What do you have against Quebec? What the fuck? To the Weeping Peninsula, called uh -huh. as such for its tendency to reign, and also the race war. But before we- Uh, uh something later soon, actually. Is this gonna get me banned on Twitch? I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant whenever people ask me to search up shit in chat. <laughs> Because it's like the video I showed the other day where the, the person opens up his laptop in class. He walks into class, puts his laptop on the table, opens it up, and you hear, Yeah, what the could I say? And he just like slaps his laptop, throws it against the wall. <laughs> He's fighting the boss in the in the pause. You know, coordinates. Okay, let me know when. We get into that. We've got a few tasks to do, just like Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. It's not quite one of the Deathly Hallows, but Among Us always comes up. I have an unnatural obsession with Among Us slash Among Us slash new off-brand Among Us in Pokemon. I have an unnatural obsession with this Mushroom Trio. Like, it's kind I wonder if it's concerning, actually. Fighting the Sapient Tree, uncovering chests that accidentally teleport me to the yeah, end of the game. And also the, uh, the bell, which may or may not cause hearing damage when you get close enough. It even contains yeah. the rarest of all loot. Uh, it's been more money time. It contains the rarest of all loot. Maxor, is this a six-star amber? I is it? I don't play Genshin, but I know enough. Oh, yeah, I remember those coordinates. Death worth searching up. What the fuck coordinates are you talking about? A woman who tells us the tale of Castle Morn, a fortress that made the grievous mistake of permitting Fur Fest 2022 in their local Hilton. Ex Accurate, actually. What the fuck? Okay, I'm pulling up another window here so I can actually search these coordinates when I get them. 
Except these are not costumes. My brother in Christ, they are misbegotten chimera and you're going to die. So as can be expected, they massacred everyone and started a county-sized race war and now they're sending me to clean up their human corpse ball pit. Fortunately, uh -huh. just like all issues in life, this one is fixed. But was there vomit in the ball pit or is this the Dashcon ball pit? I need to know. Oh my god, why do I have a fucking Ganyu and um, Mona fucking MMD video in my fucking recommended? What has YouTube and Genshin done to me? What is happening here? It's with a massacre. They haven't invented war crimes. No, that can't be who I think it is. Fortunately, just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. That can't be who I think it is. There's no fucking way. That's exactly who I thought it was. I'm 90% sure. Political potential. I'm pretty. I thought this was Paul Pot. I can't remember though. I can't. I don't think so. I don't have enough. I don't have enough information. I'm just gonna just gonna go by this because it's gonna make me sad. They haven't invented war crimes yet. I uh, like this level actually. It's pretty short, just like this video. My favorite detail is that they gave crack to an orangutan. It is Paul Pot. Yeah, we're we're gonna move on from that because I've Cambodia makes me sad. Cambodia S21 makes me really really sad actually. Oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. <laughs> We're climbing back into Harambe's cage and there is no gun. You know, when Home he isn't converting my bones to sand, this yeah. fight is actually easy. Mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But even <laughs> still, I had a great time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. And just like... Okay, we're gonna look this up off screen. What is this? I need to know. I need to know what this is. Okay, so coordinate search. And then it's 43.3068 north 0 0.7668 west. Okay, so if we're going from primary and equator, 44th parallel, so it's lower than the DMZ and west. I'm trying to remember where these meet. Because they meet in the Atlantic, right? The Prime Meridian and the Equator meet in the Atlantic, I thought. What is this? I need to know. What is this? Because there's definitely a meme with it. Find GPS. I mean, I see the Reddit post. The curiosity uh, happens. Oh my god, it's a town in France named Sus. Thank you, Reddit. God fucking damn it. I fucking love it. And just like this fight, I will not face the consequences. Enjoy this while you can because we. Beautiful. Fought because we've got a few more people to talk to, such as D, a man who gives us a fair warning about the dangers ahead. The village here has been touched by death. Thanks, as well as speaking to the sentient jar. I love the pot man, he is so good. Which you may find strange, but really we are all containers for suicidal thoughts. So Accurate. after quelling his, our new friend Jar Jar Binks tells us to head east to an industrious land known as Gary, Indiana. You know, it seems like we're going a little bit off the beaten path with this one, but I'm pretty confident. After all, how bad can it possibly be? So from a family member who has actually been to Gary, Indiana, very fucking bad. <laughs> Yeah, that's about right. What the fuck is that? I expect, like, I expect Ohio just look like this whole thick, this well, whole how bit. How bad can it possibly? This is me in Ohio. Possibly be. What the fuck is that? Oh no! Oh god! The bird. Let's go back to the castle. This uh -huh. time, I, I think I'll walk all the way back to Margaret. Yeah. 
Hey guys, it's Maxor here. As it really kind of does go perfectly with Caleb, like hell yeah. Welcome back to the, the Let's Play. And on this episode, Margaret is still hard and a bit distrustful. One might say suspicious. We need to eject him. Margaret is more like Marge Simpson. Even with better gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness. I love that he acknowledges he has the same gear. This and patience. Emphasis on the patience. But most importantly, this fight requires experience. Experience gained through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and even Canadians. To squeeze out the <laughs> Haruka Caribou mod when Haruka Caribou being the fucking uh stag went. Heroist of victories, just to watch out for the hammer. Really glad we could beat the first boss up nine minutes into the video. Yeah. Welcome everyone to Stormvale Castle, realm of the first. Gear kind of matters though. Like it is fashion souls. It provides slight bonuses. What I will say is, from my understanding, any gear is better than no gear. So if you're wandering around like with no like clothes on, you're going to take way more damage than if you just put rags on. So you might as well just put on what you fucking like. First demigod, Godric the Garfted. And if I can't oh God, get to him no. in 20 minutes, the lasagna is free. Stormvale is a complex, multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. So in Only one of which is correct. I did not take the straight path. I, uh, I did go to the left and up the stairs and... Got locked in the room, beat the knight, went up again, died to the wind shitter Yasuo, went up again, uh, went down the the fucking uh, rooftops with the the fucking sus horn dude. No, I didn't. I didn't do. I went the long fucking way around. I went like like way out of my foot. I know now not to do it next time is what I'm gonna say. Instead, we take the side route across the wall, past yeah, the one. knife birds, and yeah. into a Chinese oh, no, chemical good. factory. Yeah. So after cracking open a cold one with the boys, we yeah. ascend yeah. the political compass until I have a. D uh, does it help to roll through Scarlet Rot? Not really. It depends on the Scarlet Rot, right? Because I thought that it actually hampered you if you tried to roll through it. I thought the way that you got through it was if you you had to like turn the opposite direction and you had to back step because that's how the you got to the golden scarab talisman in some of the videos right is that you had to drop down because you're going to be encumbered in scarlet rot you turn around and you just uh it's kind of like when you in ocarina of time majora's mask right how you like l target forward and you run straight back and it's faster than literally anything else like rolling and walking right kind of like that where like you back stepping can kind of like uh go over the scarlet rot you sprint through it no, because if you sprint through it, then you get Scarlet Rot build up. I, I don't I don't know, Kiwi. I also find these weird fucking videos. Uh, if you roll through the Scarlet Rock and proc it, that way you get a weaker version of the debuff. Huh, interesting. I didn't know that. Authority over life and death, which coincidentally leads us to the castle grounds. I, dubbed, I didn't know they made Irish birds. Oh my, oh my god, there was a fucking... I made a video of that. My, like, I didn't know what these birds did, and I freaked the fuck out in my first playthrough. It was great. Well, I'm trying to sneak around, but the clamp of my ass cheeks keeps a little bit growing. Alright, yep. it looks like we're finally making some progress. All we have to do now is oh, get no. through the um. He's quite the um, the handyman. No. How did he get there, though? I'm so confused. So, like... Because you go through, like, the room up here, and you're on the rafters above him. You don't have to fight him. Maxor, how the fuck did you do this? Uh, yes, but if you put things into the right stats, you'll have plenty of Scarlet Rot resistance. Fair. Knows how to work with his hands. You could say he's quite the handful. Better use yeah, this door is. to uh, keep him at arm's length. I'm very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more laughs and gags on the Big Bang Theory Sundays on NBC. Love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. After all, it was a Monday, and I hate Mondays. That's the Pizza one. delivery for uh, Garfield? It's called lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it's... <laughs> Sounds like you could use a bit of a hand, you know, with making the pizzas. Uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know what I've gone through to make that joke? In this battle against Godric the- Yeah, fuck that dragonkin. Minecrafted, we put our patience to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking Masquerade Evangelion straight into the housing market. <laughs> Much like his titular cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's Mega Pissplex in the year of our Luigi 1987 what? and then sewed the children therein to his wacky animatronic suit. They what? call him William Grafton. But besides that, his coordination is subpar since he has to migrate a mosh pit to attack you. Well, fair enough, as long as it was worth you. And it's quite excessive. Godric holds all of his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means you have to pay attention to his arm. Careful. 
Oh god, some of his attacks are fucking bullshit, especially when you don't like the first run through. They're bullshit. Some of his like, like he has too he has too many stuns in his kit is what it is. Like that his kit is just full of stuns and interrupts. It's it's abysmal. And that's pretty difficult when he's shaped like a four-dimensional object. I'm finding it uh, pretty hard to keep track of him. He seems to morph around uh -huh. when I... So we fight him slowly and with attrition, like the Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and dying until eventually reaching the UB. I have... I, I did roll. I promise. I did try to roll. He's a lesser Godfrey, basically. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually beaten Godfrey solo. The UB. Oh, it hurts oh. every time I see it. Oh! Oh god. Fucking necromancers. I don't fast roll. Uh, so I don't fast roll. I fast roll, actually. So to overcome the taxes on his 401k, Godric decides to order a bad dragon to release his inner Todd Howard's The Skyrim. Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna I want. Welcome to phase two, bitch. Uh-huh. Going <laughs> what soundtrack is this? Does anyone have a name on this? This is the awesome. best game ever made. Oh, I guess to be fair, that's that's fair, yeah. Harry Potter, the audacity of this uh, bitch. The round table hold, my favorite Guilty. location. Thank you, There's really nothing else like it in the realm of physical science. Speaking of I love that man. Which it's been at least three seconds since. I Thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. Homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh God. It is I, the lore man. <laughs> okay, you know the bathroom. Hi, buddy. How you doing? My <laughs> IQ is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know <laughs> Ranala of a full moon resides? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's just talk. I feel like a Max or AMV would like win an actual like awards if he actually went to like uh uh. What do you call it? If we went to like like cons and shit, he, he would definitely win awards for AMVs. He would do. Talk to uh. Oh no. Uh, fingers. This is worse. Let's uh come back to that eventually. Oh, duh. I guess I'm stuck here. Fuck. Congratulations. Uh, they are epic. The yes. first demigod out of six and a half. At I'm sure his half. subjects will remember him fondly. Remember yep. all those adventures we had together, all those places we've been. That was uh 10% of the map. I'll probably finish. Oh, the map kept getting larger and it was I'm like, it has to end now. Nope, it's not ending now. It has to end now. Nope, it's still going. It, it's massive. Finish these videos in a nursing home. This is the rest of the game and wow. Yeah. Better call Gandalf for that shit because we've got a ways to walk. Welcome everyone uh -huh. to Ligma of the Lake. The largest swamp that Ligma of the Lakes. <laughs> nope, it's there. Nope, it's it's now synonymous. It's happening. Miyazaki was allowed to build. Thirty thousand men have already died. And on today's <laughs> episode, we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dissidents. Ranala of the uh -huh. Red Lobster, Queen of Caria, for at least the next ten minutes, resides in the magical academy of Malaysia Lucario. <laughs> and to get there, we need. But you know the guy that tells you to go around the castle instead. Every time you die before you kill Godric, he takes some of your soul's ruins. Uh, yeah, I thought about that. I thought he did, yeah. And that's why people just kill him, so you can go through the normal gate. And that's why it's the one correct way. To head across a biological minefield known informally as the Crustacean Nation. It is here yes. that we face our greatest challenge, the fucking shrimp. I'm starting yep. to think that PETA has a, that has a point. So anyways, we head through the gauntlet, past the Octoskeddy, <laughs> and get completely side- Octoskeddy, that's the one. Track until I end up in fucking Nipton, but uh- we You and your urn. Yeah, fuck that guy. You're gonna skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't have the time to hang out. Lock yourselves out of one of the game's best upgrade, uh, show. isn't it? Yeah, because you get a actual, like, uh, it's not a slab. It's the fucking Titanite slab. I can't remember what it's fucking called in these. Just know that you can find this area by Google what searching the Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. I no, no, you can't. No. That, there's no way that you can do this. Hold up. Elden Ring Albania. Oh, my God. Village of the Albanurks. Yeah, no, that's... Oh my god. Okay, no, you can you can actually find that. Neat, okay. Wow. Somber smithing stones. 
Yeah, they're fucking Titanite slabs, let's be real. <laughs> I see your comments, <laughs> ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect. So after heading through the ruins of my Awful. marriage and killing the white people, we make it to the Hogwarts, <laughs> only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal. And the way is shut. There's no way out. Drums in the deep. Next to it lies a map, which leads uh -huh. straight to the key. Their security is dog shit. This puzzle should be pretty easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon that's waiting there. This yeah. game has a lot of dragons in it, so I'm going to keep a count. Just know that it doesn't get easier. So Just now that we've father. broken into magical racism land, it's time to enact fool of a our revenge upon Chris Angel Mind Freak in one oh of the my most God. pretty good. I haven't heard of Chris Angel in about probably seven years at this point. Jesus. Is he still doing things? I like holy fuck. Dungeons of the game, featuring brand new challenges and enemies, such as the spastic child, this man, 30 Arc times in a row. And a Arc sounds who good. helps me extract the blood from my body. Raging Lucario is a fa <laughs> Raging Lucario is a fairly linear dungeon with some rather unusual architecture. Now I'm no yeah. interior designer, but why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this America? Anyways, we drive past Ohio. God damn it, Ohio! Why are you always fucking there? Oh my god! Is this the comment on how like fucked up a fucking joke that was? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hi, Ohio! No, God, you're you're showing up everywhere this time. Ohio, as quickly as possible until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. There is only singular. one in the entire school. I guess they just do it on Zoom. And for today's lecture, what is the dog doing? What is the dog doing? <laughs> This, this is definitely a bop. Arc Knight's OST fucking rocks. Go back to that map. I was going to, actually. I was debating on it. Oh my god. What is wrong with this map? Anyways, we drive past Ohio. Why is the entrance to possible until... There we go. Hold up. I have now found where I need to be. Uh, Does that say Utah? I can't. Sex country. Texas. <laughs> help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Please run. Help me from Massachusetts, New Hampshire. Oh my god! What the fuck is wrong with this map? Why is the Midwest sex country? Look, all I'm saying is, is there anything else to do here? Like, let's be real. <laughs> oh my god, Rita Moose, he has some bangers. Texas. Yeah, no, this is. I just. <laughs> what the fuck? It does like tits. It's. No, wait, it's. I can't tell what the, the the fucking oh it's spreading there we go that's what it's saying. Possible until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. Oh my there god. There is only one in the entire school. I guess they just do it on Zoom. And for today's lecture, what is the dog doing? Awful. The answer is stabbing me. This is one hecking speederino doggo who is frankly an insult to every wizard in the school. There. What the fuck? Japanese kabuki. Oh my god. Yes. Valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this chonking pupper is that he combines beast-like aggression with powerful magical attacks. But uh -huh. none was so devastating as when he corrupted my drive, which destroyed this video. The last <laughs> minute of footage was reconstructed from memory. But besides that, his moveset is varied and intense, requiring... But it is cut content from Dark Souls 3, The Wolf of Farron. That's interesting, actually. I really like that. I didn't know that. I wasn't sure. I, so he was actually a boss fight, and then it was cut. Interesting. God, I really gotta go back and play Dark Souls 3. Expert evasion, or just a lot of healing. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess my weapon's just covered in chocolate. Yeah. Wow, this is just like my favorite show family guy. So before oh we God. take the 30 second walk to the next boss, I acquire some fat drip so I may yeah. no longer appear fatherless. Ne fat. Wait, okay, what, what VTubers were on there? Hold up. I don't know these ones. Now on our search for a classroom that can't be raided, we head up the stairs to experience bowling in VR. And after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, we become sidetracked. I love that you can roll through the boulder. I love that you can actually dodge them. They're so good. Again, as I am teleported straight to the turtle pope yeah. who wants to sell me things. God damn it. I love turtle pope. He's so good though. I love him. He's, he's perfect. His existence isn't explained, and I don't want it to be. Only horror lurks behind that stare. Let's uh, move on to something less disturbing. I can't put the first word of Japanese goblin. Huh. Neat. I totally missed it. Thank you for pointing that out. I believe I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. I said less disturbing. Yeah. 
What is up guys and welcome to episode 391 of my Minecraft Let's Play. This Awful. is a preschool man. Today we're going to be messaging my underage fans on the internet. Oh, oh boy. Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughter Fest 2002 twos. That's right, this is an American school after all. Oh my god, the memes. It's so fucked up. And in this battle, we are going to be teaching these kids the harsh realities of the hood. Now, I know what you're going to say, and hopefully it's not a police report. Max Orb, this fight looks kind of easy, like taking candy from a baby if the candy was their still beating heart. This is accurate. In fact, all you have to do is find the correct one to turn inside out, at which point Renala basically lets you go to town. The reason for yeah, as there's, you can do it in three three goes. This is that we aren't fighting a demigod. This is the demigod's ex-wife, who was dumped after she gave birth to 30 of herself. To some extent, <laughs> I can understand, but goddamn that child support. Kind of feel like I'm doing him a favor. Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy, Eat That Pussy four, What the four, fuck? Five, and about like 30 to 45 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick so goddamn uh, hard. What is happening? That I can't even feel my left leg. My left <laughs> leg went totally numb. And my dick is. I guess there's a phase two. This this OST slaps. To the point where it feels fucking weird when I go and take a fix. Welcome to the real fight. It's still easy. Four Dark Souls, which means the challenge is getting anywhere close to her. This fight is essentially Dark Susquindlin if he's Dark Souls. Oh my god, someone, he actually made the fucking model for Dark, oh my god, it's Dark Sus Gwendolyn, there you go, chat. Because they fucking go so hard and I love it. He slash them were a good boss, using a vast array of magic, other bosses, and the power of Goku to socially distance your skull from your neck. But even still, it's very manageable if you have any semblance of patience. My editing might tell you something about how I did. 70% <laughs> of this fight is waiting for my turn. It's like I'm trying to stab Julius Caesar. Make sure you like, comment, God and damn subscribe it. so we can take this video to the moon. So after... Oh my god, was that a crypto joke? <laughs> to the moon! Sufficient damage is dealt. We find out that her second phase has a second phase, and it's- This fight fucked me. Like, like... <laughs> got railed so hard by the magic spear. Other bosses, including, of course, this bastard again, and the actual straight-up pack of wolves. Yeah. Just make sure that you don't die, otherwise it's back to the daycare. Needless to say, this fight is a visual and gameplay feast, and by yeah. that I mean it does not end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder, so let's do to her life what her husband did to the marriage. Oh, there goes the camera. I'm not, I'm not a strength player, Kiwi. You forget, I'm also a dingus. Uh, I don't even know you... She could sound like, yeah, nah, she can. Things you learn when you're a dingus. <laughs> Multiple times over. You're going to I fucking hate this place. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What knowledge do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster. Why does the Oblivion OST, like, why does it go really hard, though? I love it. Once already, uh, where do I go next? Caleb. What? <laughs> you must continue your adventure in Kaled. Uh, Carry Indiana. A problem? No, not at all. There, there's nothing wrong with Kaled. Oh my god. Hey guys, needs McTherapy here. Today we're going to be playing in a Tim Burton land. Oh, I'm doing the second part. I probably can't do it this time because I'm really cutting it close to like actually having to like turn this off. I, I can't, I can't though. Like I, I spent too long reacting 90 minutes. Like, Kiwi, I physically can't. Trust me, I would if I could. I'm not about to, like, like get yelled at because, like, I'm, like, streaming past 12. I, I physically can't. Like, there's living situation thing that I cannot, like, override. I, I apologize. I can definitely see about going over this uh, Tuesday, if not tomorrow. I, I don't, I, I have, I can't tonight. I was going to originally. However, plans kind of got in the way. Welcome to Kaelin. It's basically made of German bedtime stories. Who can forget such legendary tales as Der Vogel, Der Bachpfeife and Gesicht, and most terrifying of all, Das Kinderschredder. I'm sorry if you speak German, by the way. That's gotta be my least favorite disability. And on today... What the fuck? Excuse you, I think Bachpfeife and Geist is a perfectly fucking serviceable word. It's... it's... A, it's beautiful. It's a fist... it's a face that there's a fist in it. It's beautiful. <laughs> what are you talking about? Today's episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent. We are invited to a festival and slumber party where the sleep is permanent. All for a chance to face off against the third demigod on my Club Penguin friends list. Star Scourge Radon, uh -huh. captain of the hospice, resides within the walls of Red Main Castle, where every year he... I see that Godskin Peeler tech. I see that. 
I see you. He throws a party to see who can keep their limbs the longest. The price of admission is just up, getting anywhere near him. Because sometimes uh -huh. life is just a Bulgarian and you are an what? unstolen car. What? So we ride, vaguely and in some direction, encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of God and locking uh -huh. myself in the cum dungeon. The other kids laughed at me. They called me Jizzy Johnson, but now it is I who is laughing at them. What? Oh, oh cool, it's a it's another dragon, and this one is a quite the special encounter because we get to fight him in the volume of an aquarium. He can't really touch anything, otherwise he uh decouples his existence. Hey, what's up guys? Max or Is this the, the large dragon that you farm, or is this another dragon? We're here and today we're gonna be gaming on the moon because that's what this shit feels like. In <laughs> fact, I heard you like dragons so much that I made an entire part of the map called Dragon Barrow and I filled it with, you guessed it, an obscene quantity of dragons. Yeah, because yeah, you truly did. we have not fought enough of them. I don't Oh, it's the Scarlet Rod Trunk. Okay, so it's a different dragon. I don't think I fought this dragon actually. To uh, want to be here anymore, let's put this in the future episode box. So far, we've seen a lot of traumatizing things. Nerf enough it. to give half of all American politicians cardiac arrest, but I've been saving the best for last. And by best, I mean the most evil game design ever conceptualized. The Swamp of Aeonia lies just within the Swamp of Florida. That's the one. In the center of Kaelid and contains enough aids to make Ronald Reagan sweat. This region, <laughs> and pretty much all of Kaelid, but mostly this fucking abomination, is infested with scarlet rot, which is like poison if it was made of radium. And get this, <laughs> it's spreading. <laughs> you can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation because an NPC just invades you in the middle of the swamp. Yeah. It's like I can hear the dulcet tones of the game director laughing at me. For your crimes, I am sending you to the moon. This place is filled. Get me a Zaki. Is, 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 yeah, no, that, that's. <laughs> you just play Souls, you'll get me a Zaki. That's all I can say that on that. That 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 in itself is its own explanation. With all kinds of new and interesting ways to die, and my favorite lies at the center of the swamp, where we can find Commander O'Neill and his Bostonian Kedemy Mafia. Surprisingly enough, this is the only thing here that can't kill me. His moveset is so simple, it's Amish accessible. You could build a bar <laughs> around him in the time it takes for him to do damage. Maybe uh -huh. this boss would be better with a second phase, one where he whips out his lightning cock and pulverizes me until I'm gravel. I don't think I've actually beaten him solo. I don't think I have. He is fucked. But you know, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Also, he up drops his ketamine needle, which I will now put <laughs> to very good use. You're a horse, right? You're a horse, right? We're in a red main castle now. This uh -huh. entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaelin is the actual level. Do you even know how- Kaelin's the actual level? What did that even say? Oh my god, what? Oh my god. Seeing him like fly, like, oh my god, that's beautiful. The physics engine in this is fucking flawless. Uh, and hunger odor. That's definitely German. I cannot, I have no idea what this says. I have absolutely no idea when the boss ganks you. Wait, that's illegal! <laughs> Do you even know how many dogs were euthanized on my way here? Don't worry, you aren't actually missing anything unless you I had to I, I had to take a look at it because enough of it seemed different. It it's I, I can't read it. <laughs> I'm sure someone in the chat's gonna be like or someone uh on the, the channels be like it says this by the way. I'm like Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You're a big fan of cats, such as life on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the Festival of Ramadan. There uh -huh. are two attendants in total, and, uh, one of them is this guy. Hello again, Tarnished. How was your journey down the well? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just... What the fuck is wrong? Passionate about my cuisine. Speaking of oh which, God. did you ever find those children I talk? All I can see is Bow the Wolf. Or sorry. Wow! Okay, yeah, they have become synonymous. Holy fuck. <laughs> Bow the Whale. Wow! Okay. Uh, that's all I need to say. <laughs> about. Welcome, one and all, Cost, to Charles. No. Shame. You know what? Shame. Maybe the jar will be a bit up. He's a god, Jan Jan Binks. Yep. He's a okay, never mind. So in I a stroke him. of obscene luck, we find a mostly sane person who tells us via Oh, it's Slave Night Gale. A YouTube rewind that Radon is not here. Technically. You see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge my switch. His consciousness has been gone for several hundred years due to the demigod Melania, who is the Blade of Mikola, by the way. But that is a story for later. It that is the Blade of Mikola, by the way. However... 
Essentially, his mind was eaten by the Scarlet Rot, but this man is literally too angry to die, and we are attempt number 500 to kill him. So, uh, <laughs> I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very willed smithridly. Let's, uh, go start the mercy killer. Built and, differently. Uh, why is he so far away? Yep. Are those summon signs? Yeah. Oh, this goes hard. Welcome everyone to the open world RPG where I roleplay as the victim, and today we're doing one of the best fights in all the video games. Star Scourge Radon is a big, buff, absolute unit of a boss whose only instinct is recycling your flesh back into the ecosystem. But uh -huh. you are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon, and if they die, then you can just do it again. I'm sure they won't mind. I have essentially converted the, the game into an RTS. Name. Gotta fight Raid Boss Radon in World of Employee Harassment. Now it's you so can good. fight him alone. As a real gamer, but why would you? This is a goddamn festival, and I will. Patches dies every fucking times first. Will not be having sex by myself. Before you can even reach him, Radon is sniping your ass yeah. with the accuracy of my opinions on the internet. And f but am I the only like? So if you like dot, if you go behind this, the the fucking uh, uh gravity bolt just hits it and disappears because it just it destroys the obstacle. Am I the only one that figured this out? Like, I can't be. Uh, gets in the ST and Discord. Patches doesn't die. Yeah, he does. He, he like you summon him and he gets ganked first every single time. Oh, he literally leaves. Okay, <laughs> he just says fuck this amount. <laughs> well, I mean, like dies inside the session. He leaves. He just says fuck off. I'm going. He says fuck you. I'm out. Cool. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, Blue Artistic Owl? You uh, you have come in at an interesting time. He unsummons himself. <laughs> Patches just fuck off. I'm good. Firing a frankly suspicious amount of arrows from God. Yeah. If you want to exercise the privilege of fighting him, you have to earn it. And that is the easy part. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset as his attacks swing wider than American elections and hit- Bro, I don't- I, I could not figure out his moveset. I am actually that big of a dingus that I could not figure out his moveset. I did beat him with, like, like not co-op, but like I definitely summoned like AI to help with it. Like... Am I just? A, I think I'm just a dingus. Just come from watch, <laughs> Zach. Yeah, no. Well, thank you. How you? Uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. This is my last one, unfortunately, for tonight, um, because I have to actually. I have like quiet hour thing in situation that I have to, uh, to do it. Thank you, Kiwi. I appreciate it. So uh, yeah, you've caught me at a kind of weird time. Bolt of Grand Sacks makes them trivial. Bolt of Denny's Grand Slam is great. And yes, that's I, I call it that now. It is the only thing I shall ever refer to it as. It's harder than a freight train on a semi. Now you may have already <laughs> noticed, but that is a comically small horse. It's yes. like I'm looking at Chiqua Leonale. This is because, <laughs> in addition to being built like a steel mill, Radon has the power to defy gravity, which constantly gets him into fights with solar bodies. This yeah. man is skateboarding a horse and holding back the stars while killing everyone he comes into contact with, and he does it from the hospice. Radon uh -huh. is an absolute god among chads, and this fight's intensity lives up to that and then some. And that is just phase one. Phase yeah. two starts when he um. Oh my god, the hitbox is on phase two when he goes when he just fucking just comments at you is beautiful. Uh, jumps into the upper yep. atmosphere. <laughs> he never came back down. He's just stuck in the stars. Isn't there a glitch where he could just like be under the map, or is that just how uh, he actually works in terms of targeting? Like he's under the map at the same. I don't remember. There was something about it. Jesus Christ, he is a thick one. Thick. Three C's. Yep. Oh god, I think my Zodiac just killed itself. This is sure to negatively affect the trout population. Yep. Won't someone please think about the economy? Love it. I'm letting it run. This was absolutely fucking beautiful. Yes, actually, that was the next one I was going to run, followed by Metal Gear. However, 
I am unfortunately out of time tonight, or else I would have loved to do those. That was absolutely fucking epic. No, this was absolutely just Maxor, well done. Absolutely fucking well done. I love love this. This was beautiful. Continue doing such amazing work. Like, please. Um, as a German, I can approve that there is a back to story close to Toshkin to Shredder. <laughs> It's called Max Undemorias, and it's about two mischievous boys that get shredded to chicken food in the end. It was a fun little story. Oh, that'd be good to say it Yep. Alrighty then. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight. I do have to end stream there, unfortunately. If you're on the React channel, I hope this has been a last, like, amazing few days for you. Um, if you are here on the stream, definitely thank you everyone for coming out. I definitely appreciate it. I'm hoping you all enjoyed this as much as I did. This was absolutely nothing short of fucking beautiful. And I can't wait for Yutaka and Kiwi to just beat my ass like a fucking drum in Elden Ring when I finally play it again. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Take care. Make sure you get some water. Later, guys.